Hi everybody, today I'm going to tell you more about lace wings and more specifically the lace wing map project. Um, I'm going to show you some examples of amazing lace wings and show you how to go about uploading your photos and just take a look at what are lace wings even. So, uh, lace wing map is the atlas of African Neuroptera and Megaloptera, and together these groups of insects are loosely termed the lacewings. They are one of nature's best all-purpose predators, and um, they are definitely a farmer or gardener's best friend. Uh, they love to eat aphids, for example, which are known pests. Um, so when you make a list of ecosystem services, which are the things that we get from nature for free, um, remember to add the lacewings for sure. Uh, Lacewing Map is a project that we are doing in collaboration with Dr. Mervyn Mansell from the University of Pretoria here in South Africa. And he is an absolute awesome person and a world leader in lacewing research. So lacewings get their name from their fantastically fragile see-through wings, like you can see in this uh, picture shown here. Um, so their wings are very delicate, which are which makes it hard to imagine how they even fly. But don't be fooled though, they are ferocious predators, especially in their larval stages. And they're also great pollinators. So these insects are super important in any healthy ecosystem um, as pollinators and also as predators of other insects. So definitely a plus to have around in your garden or on your farm or wherever. So how long have lacewings been around? Well, they are ancient insects. They've been around for about 290 million years. So Neuropterans first appeared during the Permian period and continued to diversify through the Mesozoic era. During this time, several unusually large forms evolved, especially in the extinct family Calagrammatidae. And they are often called the butterflies of the Jurassic like you can see in this awesome um, fossilized example shown here. So lacewing larvae, they're perfect for pest control. Although some adults um, also eat pest insects, it's the larvae that make lacewing so popular with gardeners and farmers. Uh, the lacewing larvae are so successful at eating aphids that they also have the nickname aphid lions or aphid wolves. And a single lacewing larvae can eat up to 200 aphids in a week. So that's quite amazing. So why are we mapping lacewings? Well, not, not a lot is actually known about the distribution of lacewing species. So lacewing map is helping us to map the 21st century distributions of these amazing insects. Uh, it's also helping us to track species range changes, to help fill our knowledge gaps, to even help with new discoveries of new species. Um, several citizen scientists have submitted um, photographs of new species to Lacewing Map, which is really exciting. And of course, the number one thing is we cannot conserve Africa's wonderful biodiversity effectively if we don't know where species occur. Having an accurate distribution map is the first key step towards conserving a species properly. So where do you go to upload your photos of lacewings? Well, you head on over to the Virtual Museum website and you'll find the URL to the VM underneath this video. So once you are on the Virtual Museum website and you've registered as an observer, you log in and then you click on Data Upload. This will then bring you to the first page of the form where you fill in 
your location details of where you photographed your lacewing. So you put in the country in Africa where you photographed it, the province, the closest town, a bit of a description of the locality of where you found your insect. And then of course, most importantly, the GPS coordinates. But don't stress, if you don't have the GPS coordinates or, or didn't take the GPS coordinates, we've got an interactive Google map available in the upload form where you can zoom in as accurately as possible to where you um, saw your lace wing and then drop a little marker and this will automatically fill in the GPS coordinates for you. Then next you go um, to select the project to which you are submitting your photographs and you'll see there's a whole list of projects and Lacewing Map, of course, being one of them. And then, yeah, you upload your photo. Easy peasy, it's in the database. And here's just a little example of an amazing Lacewing that I photographed in the Northern Cape province of South Africa. And that's it for today. <laughs> see you next time.